Hey folks, uh, it's Saturday night. Uh, welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, it was scheduled to be a campaign night, but sadly uh, we had a few issues with the cast uh, and we have gone ahead and changed the format to just a simple one shot tonight. We'll see how that goes. It looks like everything's going. <laughs> That's okay, at least we know we're working. Uh, folks, as you can... <laughs> God damn it, Christy. You're the reason. <laughs> uh, folks, don't forget we're for mature audiences. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube page. And if you want to buy any of our crap, -hoo -hoo -hoo, uh, down there at the bottom, uh, tinyurl.com slash RPG swag. Uh, tonight, we're going to do three people, third level, going to Cathaway. These guys are tired of the uh, frontier and they need a little break, maybe a few libations, not sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead. All three of them are on the top row. We'll go left to right, starting with Christy. Christy, who are you and who are you playing tonight? He's the one that uh, did Geppetto, correct? Oh, great. <laughs> uh, we'll see how he does tonight. Uh, he lived last time. He might live tonight. Uh, middle of the top, Blake. Blake, who are you playing tonight and who are you? I know, you didn't even have any uh, profane joke for us. Uh, well, that was filled with profanity. Uh, last but certainly not least, Ernest. Ernest, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Uh, Prudence, Chosen of Ogma. Okay, I think I got the names down. Uh, folks, due to the uh, late timing, of course, normally we have something really cool up there. Um, sorry, it just isn't going to work out. So, brave adventurers, uh, you three have uh, landed in the great city of Cathaway. You are thirsty from your travels, and you seek out a tavern unless you choose otherwise. What would you like to do? Nice. Two. Captain Crush. Okay. So we've all decided that we're going to hit uh, Larry's liquor store. Or uh, Lar Larry's libations. Well, you can if you want, or uh, Larry's libations is right here. Okay. Uh you go inside, and Larry's like, whoa, 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 folks. Sorry. Uh, we're closing. Got a small problem. Uh, cops are coming. Going to need you to go down the street to Larry's Liquors, too. Uh, it's our satellite office. Uh, and uh, here's a token for one free drink for your troubles. And we had a small homicide. <laughs> one token taken. Everybody takes a token. Uh, Larry says, again, my apologies. Uh, just go out the door. Go down this. You, you can't fix. Can you put the head back on the shoulders? Or, okay, yeah. Uh, well, thank you for the, thank you for the offer, sister. But <laughs> I get I, yeah, 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 no. <laughs> hey, don't, don't fuck this scenario up any worse than it is already. 
Nice. Uh, Larry says, uh, you go down two blocks, you hang a left, and it's two blocks down the street after that. Easy, easy peasy to find. Again, my apologies. Uh, thank you very much. About that time, some gruff uh, city watch come in, and they're like, are these the ones responsible? <laughs> <laughs> not not so much a minor crime good news is larry says no 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 uh he's in the cellar these guys just came in uh i'm just getting them out guards are like get the fuck out right now <laughs> so go down hang a right go two blocks down hang a left Two blocks after that, can't miss it. Fair enough. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> uh, as you go outside, uh, you notice that uh, a little bit of cloud activity is going on. Looks like it might rain. Do you guys go ahead and head down uh, to uh, Larry's Liquors Two or Larry's Libations Two? To use your token or go do something else. You go down the street, you go two blocks. Give me an insight check, please. All three of you notice a seedy looking individual who looks at you with his one eye and his eye patch and says, better hurry before you get wet. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's right. Let's uh, let's arrive at town and start beating up the locals. <laughs> One-eyed Willie uh, succumbs to the brief, intense pain and takes a knee. Uh, <laughs> as you walk down the street towards Larry Libations 2, you get about halfway down there. Give me another insight check. Uh, you guys need to change your names because it about called you shithead. Uh, Prudence and, Prudence and Captain Karash, uh, you notice there are people lining the streets here. Oh, screwed that one up. Uh, don't, don't chat with me because if I open up chat, I'm going to fuck up the cameras again. Uh, yeah, you, you notice some people, that, and, and they seem to be just lining the streets like there's going to be a freaking parade. That's not funny at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zane... You notice uh, some clouds are gathering over it. Uh, perhaps this is what uh, One-Eyed Willie was mentioning. Crit Do the Terry Crews. <laughs> okay. Um, give me a D4. I am going to hit Squirrely Mike right in the face. Thirteen. Okay, and that suggestion is? <clears throat> I, I really want to hit Mike. Okay, uh, you see the individual rear back and fling something across the street. Moments later, a whistle goes off and people on both sides start to fling 
colorful gobs of fruit at each other. This is what it this is what is called the Pendejo Festival, uh, where individuals throw rotted fruit at each other. It is a sanctioned event in the city, but you guys are about to get dirty. So if you sprint real fast, you can roll a d12. If you leisurely try and walk in between the participants, you're going to have to roll percentage. Okay. Nope, straight up D12 roll, please. Six. Eleven. And uh, prudence. On percentile. Oh, yeah, if you aren't going to run, it's a D20. And you got a 20? Okay. Fair enough. Uh, we'll start with Captain Karash. Uh, six pieces of fruit are going to head right for your face. So, what's your AC? One, two. Two pieces of fruit collide with you. The stinky fruit leaves a blue stain on any clothing. Uh, Eleven for Zane. <laughs> Not anymore, you don't. Uh, uh, Zane, what is your AC? One. Two. Three. Well, actually, they aren't specifically aiming for you. They're aiming at the other side. You guys are just trying to run. Uh, you get hit by three pieces of fruit, and you also turn blue. Uh, Prudence. What is your AC? At AC, at third level, you bitch. I actually got you twice, though. So you are covered with two spots of blue all over your colorful religious vestments. However, you guys do manage to dash through the mail or the mail storm. And you see a sign, Larry's Libations 2 present. You are all covered in stinky blue fruit. <laughs> the guards at the other end laugh and point at you, but... Well, for intents and purposes for this game, yeah, this is the first time you guys have been to Cathaway. But, you know what? I I'll say that you knew that this festival was going on. You didn't realize it was tonight. But yes, it it is a uh, it's like the Tomatia Festival over in Italy, I believe. So no 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 blood, no foul, just covered in blue crappy fruit. Uh, you managed to make it to Larry Larry's Libations too. Would you like to go in? This place is packed. Uh, apparently, Larry's Libations one uh, has sent everybody they know to the outlet. One individual, well, first off, everybody give me an insight check. Let's see if you spot them. Okay. Sixteen, <laughs> uh, nine, Zane. Zane, Prudence, uh, you guys notice an individual covered in blood. Uh, Captain and Prudence, give me investigation skill checks, please. <clears throat> each one of you find, each one of you find an additional token that somebody has dropped. So now you, uh, you know what, if it was a natural 20, I'll give you two. So three, three, two, and one. Uh, Somebody leaves the bar as the bloody guy keeps bouncing into people, bragging about how he kicked the shit out of somebody. Uh, and you now have a spot where you can go up to the bar and ask for your drinks. Eight. 
A what? Oh, yeah. Oh, they throw you a wet towel. Look, bud, I'm real busy here because Big Larry is sending everybody down here. I, I, I don't know what happened to the murder. You can ask the bloody guy if you want. I don't know. Zane. Uh, an, an average-looking barmaid gets you one delicious liquor. Uh, everybody who's got a liquor, go ahead and roll your d20. Uh, let's make sure that you guys like what you're drinking. Straight up. Everybody likes what they're drinking. It's not a big deal. So you're okay. Uh, as all three of you hold your mug oh crap uh, or pipette of religious wine, uh, you see... Oh, very nice. Root beer? Sure, that'll work. Uh, you see a pair of hookers. One is... <laughs> one is a 14 charisma, the other is a 2. <laughs> she has beautiful eyes, but they're both on the same side of the face. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you see the bloody guy. And... Uh, that and, and you see a bunch of other people milling about. <laughs> Wait. So. Cap Captain Karash is going to talk to the bloody one. What are you two doing? Okay. Zane? Okay, fair enough. Uh, you're going to have to pay because you only have the one token. Okay. <coughs> oh, boy. Hey, hang on a second, guys. I might have fucked up. Yeah, I'm a moron. Picture that means there's a bad time happening. Okay, now we're now we're golden. Okay, <laughs> hey everybody. Uh, what these three have been saying is highly unimportant. I mean, it really hasn't yeah, mattered. Recording <laughs> somehow. <laughs> uh, let, let's, well, you guys heard that they got caught up in the uh, Pendejo Festival. Uh, so far, uh, Captain Karash uh, Christie is not thrilled at all with. Uh, the selection of would-be prostitutes. Uh, Zane is going to go ahead and order a couple drinks, and <laughs> Perpetua has obtained a towel to clean off her vestments. Unfortunately, the towel is damp. Uh, and she and is, his penis wrong. She is following uh, Captain Karash around with a bag in case he wants to take advantage of the two charisma prostitutes. Uh, I screwed up. They're scared. That's on me again. Uh, see, this is what you get when you get a cut rate producer. We need the real producer. Uh, anyway, so uh, back to Captain Karash. Uh, you tap uh, Bloody Guy on the shoulder. What do you want to ask him? What's this all about? What happened at, at Larry's what? Uh, the two other people that he was talking to uh, whisper thank you to you as he turns and faces you. And this drunken oaf begins to discuss how he kicked the shit out of a total of five town guards in the alley out back. You're full of shit. You know that? You are full of shit. He takes his, he takes his finger and he sticks it in your face the fuck? and says you're full of shit. You stinking semen smelling bastard. I knew we were gonna get in a fight. I just knew it. I'm I'm I'm, I'm taking that step back. 
and then I'm just going to kick him. Okay. Go ahead and kick, uh, who is this? What one? do I add? I mean, I'm sorry? Uh, what, do I, what do I add to this? It's an unarmed strike kind of thing. Uh, your, your, your con mod. Okay. Uh, All right. No, dex. Or, no, strength, strength. Now, strength? Well, yeah, you can go strength. I, strength or dex, I don't care. Oh, you're, you're non-natural kicking. 20. Non-natural 20. You kick Sailor Jerry right in the genitalia. Get the fuck out of here. He doubles over, falls, spills his beer all over himself, and you hear tink, tink uh, across the floor of the crowded bar. A total Something of fell. <laughs> three individuals dive for what's on the floor, some of them landing on Sailor Jerry. I, 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 would, I would have wanted to be following that as well. Jump on in. Uh, we I, will do, I, I, will, I will absolutely dogpile the shit out of that. We will take D12s on anybody who wants to jump on that. Uh, can I kick people out the way? Well, g Yes, give me just a second. 7, 11, and 6. Wait, are there I'm coins falling? Yeah. Are there what? There's some falling that makes tink noises. I'll mage hand for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you are going to have to beat the 11. Uh, so go ahead and give me a d12 roll, please. Nine. You, you tied with uh, Pru or Perpetua. No prudence. 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 Starts with a P. I knew it. Yeah, uh, I'm going to, uh, having failed that, I am going to, I need a wisdom save. From? The gentleman who did catch it. How do you know it's a gentleman? That's, re that's really <laughs> presumptuous. Okay, then from the hideous looking woman. Right. This so hideous. It is a female. Oh, well, whoever caught it. Ooh, seven. Seven. They do not say. <laughs> They're going. No, they, they, seven charisma. Oh, uh, 16. Uh, that does save. Okay. The hideous woman jumps on it. Uh, you no longer hear the tink tink. She gets up, proudly displays two tokens in her hand, just as the mage hand takes effect. Now, Zane, where are you aiming your mage hand at? Well, I, mean, I was going for whatever made the tink tink noise. Fair enough. I will say that you went straight down to the ground. As she stands up proudly displaying her tokens, everyone hears a rip as her <laughs> dress is held down forcibly by the mage hand that is scrambling for the thing. And now you see her soiled petticoat <laughs> underneath her. She says, oh, that's a her mind and says, two drinks for me. That's unfortunate. Why'd you have to shoot yourself like that, woman? Have you no class? Uh, but, go ahead and everybody give me a perception check. Do I get to kick things? Yeah, you can kick anybody. All right. You can well, I'm not doing You can kick against. <laughs> uh, 22. 22? 17. 17. All right, and you said perception? Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, five. Uh, you do not smell the befoulment of Sailor Jerry's trousers, so Captain Cross I can see it. is the lucky one. <laughs> well, yes, mm. you can see it because you're uh, roundhousing another kick. Zane yes. and Perpetua, Prudence, whatever. <laughs> Would you change your name? Because I'm going to just go with Shithead. Just go with Shithead. Okay. Uh, Shithead and Zane uh, smell that Sailor Jerry has lost uh his entire compliment of he's voided, voided himself he has voided himself all over the bar causing quite the stench but captain karash strongly noted for his vast constitution of smelling fish yeah pays it yeah. no mind whatsoever i've seen people shit themselves oh, that's right well, you just saw it again uh yeah captain karash who are you gonna kick you got uh two people and shithead Okay, so the, all right, are they still trying to dive to get stuff, or are they just like they are on their knees, looking up at the soiled petticoat of the seven charisma bar uh, bar patron? I'm gonna kick him, kick him again, <laughs> just for just because he's insulted. He's insulted. Sailor Jerry. Yeah, he's insulted. If you miss horribly, you're gonna kick him right in the damp spot of his pants. Great. It's going to get stuck. That's cocked. 
All right. Oh, <laughs> you won't believe it. I got this new dice from Dwarven Forge, and every time it's a natural 20, it's an anvil. So, nice. natural ability. I'm going to keep that dice. Um, roll, and uh, Roll me a d4, Christy. <clears throat> a or d4. Captain Karash. All right. And three. Uh, three of his teeth go flying out, and both Zane, Shithead, and the two patrons here, tink, tink. <laughs> oh, I'm going after him. I'm going after him. <laughs> Every time I kick him, shit falls out. Literally. It's a pinata. Anyways. <laughs> We've gone to the Pendejo Festival, and now we have Sailor Jerry the pinata. Uh, is that <laughs> insane and shithead, are you going to try and grab the teeth before? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because I don't know their teeth. Uh, I don't know. D12 against the other two who are still on their knees. Three. Twelve. Yeah. And six. Six. All okay. right. Uh, and that person is a female as well. Charisma 18, a gorgeous young woman, dives, striking the bar, clasping her hands, opening it up, and groaning loudly at the fact that she has an incisor and a molar. Hey, hey, hey lady. Okay. And and if she wants to anyway. have a drink with me. I, I, I no, I want to know. Do you have all your teeth? She, <laughs> she smiles seductively at you. Hang on. Using yeah. seduction skills. Uh, uh, I still uh, hand you the bag from the ground. And she's Thank uh, she looks at you. you. Uh, give me a give me a persuasion check. Let's see if she's enamored by you, Captain. Persuasion. It's not that bad. At persuasion. Um. <laughs> I thought I, I thought. I mean, I have a nineteen charisma, so I thought I would have. You know, uh, a good shot at this. I rolled a four, though, so that's a ten. Okay, he got a seventeen plus three, so that's a non-natural twenty. She is there you go. Covered by Captain Karash and says, "That's a nice kick there, Admiral." I know. Well, you know, I'm actually a captain, huh? but you know, I got good, strong kicking legs. I didn't see you standing on the. Uh, I didn't see you standing on a barrel, so. <laughs> That was Mage Hand. I, yes. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you Thank got Mage you. Hand or two? Uh, let's see. <laughs> Just a little surprise. I'm not going to be behind her, though. I don't I don't want to be blamed. Uh, no. Well, you know what, Captain Karash? Uh, D20 against me, please, because I believe her boob just got squeezed. All right. Uh, do I add anything? Uh, no, just straight up. I got a 15. I got a 13. She smacks you across the face. How dare you? We haven't even been introduced. Grabs you by the front go. of your shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's going to give a big old kiss, but go ahead and kick her between the goalposts of life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's aggressive. Yeah, okay. Uh, kick her. Um, uh, 15 plus uh, uh, straight. You've most so. likely caused her to have an abortion. Uh, altogether, 19. Oh. She, was... she doubles over, falling, you know what, odd face first onto Sailor Jerry, even on her back. <laughs> odd face first, one to two up high, three to four torso, five to six, she gets a moist fall. Oh. Falls unconscious, kissing Sailor Jerry. There are two unconscious people in here. Blood everywhere, the scent of feces everywhere, and let's see. I hate this town. Two. No. Zane, you feel a tap on your shoulder. <clears throat> yes. Uh, you see a squat individual, not like a short person, but just a shorter human, and says, excuse me, may I have a word with you and your friends? I will buy you each a drink. If you do me the honor. Mm, sure. Do you want to tell them? I, you just want to. I was going to say I will take I will take umbrage at having my services offered without my consent. And, <laughs> and I will. I want to kick it. more people. I want to kick more people. Things fall out of them. I'm having a terrible time. Fuck this town. <laughs> Captain Karach is treating people like a slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> Bing. Bing. 
<laughs> so Zane, uh, you're gonna have to convince your two associates to uh, go with you. Otherwise, no free drinky. Oh uh, no, 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 no! Can't you just tell us here what what this thing was? I have a job proposition, but it's best left out of prying ears. Can we can we have this conversation in the alley where I was about to go check on those guards that are that are I was informed are beaten and bloodied? Yeah, we may go into yeah. that way. Let's do that. Uh, he leads you around the corner of the bar, out the side exit. Uh, so when I'm behind him, I knock him unconscious. Kick him! <laughs> We're outside of the bar in the back alley. No witnesses. <laughs> well, there are people out back is what I was going to describe. Oh, never mind. If there's other people out there, I thought... <laughs> I got a little... Uh... Oh, murder murder <laughs> Hobo Inc., folks. <laughs> the rules. <laughs> As you go outside, you see a man alleviating himself on the back wall. Next to him is another man alleviating himself on the back wall, attempting to spell out his name. There are several passers-by. There are no unconscious guards here in the alley. There are no signs of a struggle, a fight, or any blood. Uh, so whatever Sailor Jerry thought he did, he was full of shit. Uh, You're right. The man... Motions you over to an opening near the local plaza and says, you three seem to be able to handle yourselves. I have an associate who is in need of your services. Mm. Where's, the Where's the drinks? And then I brandish my foot menacingly. Like... <laughs> <Brandish. Right on. laughs> he just asks you if you're going to do the hokey pokey. I, I brandish a book of calculus. <laughs> Oh, that book is way too hard for this area. That is just not going to work. You don't want to get hit with it. Uh, um, I, I, he hands you each one token. Thank you. So what I is this supposed to, to do? I don't, I don't okay. want to take it yet. I, I, I said, I, I'm still wanting a little more information. I don't want to, I'm not agreeing to anything. I didn't agree to anything. I'm, Both I take my it. and Prudence tokens then. <laughs> I, I, around I, and take, I take, back I and take his foot. I take his foot and kick you with it. <laughs> he, oh. says, he says he has an associate, Tony Guacamole, who okay. is having a small problem with a gang of ruffians known as the Cobra Kai. Oh shit! Sounds legit. Oh, wait, we have we have to help this kid. He's an underdog. Yeah, we have we have to. We got to. It sounds real legit. He has <laughs> an item that the Cobra Kai. <laughs> want uh, and he needs to get it to the purchaser of said item uh, in just a few hours but he is afraid to leave his domicile and therefore needs bodyguards as you three seem to be more than capable uh, no, we, I, uh, I would suggest you know he he is rather a, a wealthy individual and could uh, could reward you quite well wouldn't, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be smarter if they're waiting on him to deliver it if we just take it there ourselves? Uh, it's uh, more of a Craigslist kind of thing where he has to do it face to face. Like, man, I hate Craigslist. <laughs> I don't, I, he, your man seems like he's not very prudent. <laughs> he's ineffective. He, he only doesn't had have to. about 40 minutes to whip this thing together, so. <laughs> <fuck off. laughs> So escort mission. Okay, fine. An escort mission. Sounds good Yay. enough. Let's so do this. Are we supposed to meet them? What's the item? What time? I don't need to know the item. The, some, th some things are better left unknown. He's no, two, I want to know it all. He's two blocks away. I can go in and get you your drinks, and I can lead you over to Tony Guacamole's, and uh, he can handle it from there. <laughs> Why is hasn't like, anyone... Sounds, sounds like this is time limited. I suggest drinking afterwards. I do too. And where are the hookers? I am looking for whores, and there's only the sideways one and the one I kicked. Awesome. Where's the awesome, awesome breast? <laughs> well, yeah. you did kick the prettiest one in there. She hit me. She, <laughs> I don't care. She, she, she was going to play it rough and was going to embrace you passionately, but never. I, I am a lover. It was, going, it was a leather kicker. kiss. It was a leather kiss. Yeah. So, you want to hold off on the beverages until after the completion of the job? I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and take my token, though. He I take my token. Yeah, he trusts you <coughs> enough. He gives you your tokens. Uh, okay. He, he leads you about two blocks away. You notice it's it, it 
it's really starting to cloud up though so there's going to be a rainstorm here soon uh maybe a thunderstorm my i will destroy water thunderstorm um but... i worry about my perm <laughs> After two blocks, he leads you upstairs to a flop house and does the shave and a haircut knock. And you hear, who is it? I, I tell him that that's not a very prudent secret knock. It's Cathaway, so he's not sure. Uh, he says, Tony, it's me, Barry. Open the door. Door opens a little bit, and you can tell that it's it must be wedged from the inside. And this uh, seedy-looking individual uh, looks out and he goes, well, who are these guys? Your mama. <laughs> Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. Captain Karash is... Co- no, you can't use those names, please. Oh, no, well, <laughs> I, I changed the names on one of your <laughs> assailants. You can use Larry, Daryl, and Daryl. Because <laughs> Belinda, Melinda, and Linda are further down the road here. Exactly. <laughs> The guy says, hey, look, I watched these guys clean up the bar at Larry's Libations, too. I think these guys can help you. Let them in. Give them your pitch. See if they're willing to take your job. They are the best. He's like, I want to hear it from them. So who wants to try and persuade? I know Uh Zane has the highest charisma. Okay, go ahead. I can give advantage. Okay. Um, That would... We'll see if that's necessary, but yeah. That's... Persuade Tony Guacamole that you are willing to take his job. I'm yeah. using my pec, I'm using Wait. my pec muscles to you know puff Wait. out and. Captain Terry Cruz, what is it? Yes, a twenty-three. He looks you up and down, notices the blood and vomit on the bottom of Captain Karash's shoe, and notices the thirsty look in Zane's eye, and slowly opens up the door and allows you to enter. The small mousy man walks in and says, seriously, Tony, these guys cleaned house. I think they'll be fine. So All right. Guacamole takes a look at you, sizes you up, does an insight. I locked the door. So, I was say you were inside. Oh, they, they locked the door. <laughs> they locked the door. Uh, says, uh, okay, here's the deal. <clears throat> I have what you would call a item of interest for someone that I need to go ahead and meet with and they are going to pay me a sizable sum. Go ahead, give it to me. I'll take it over there and bring you the money. I'm afraid yeah. that is not possible. The item is cursed. Uh, I here we I'm go. I'm not afraid of curses. Are you sure? I am positive. <laughs> I'm sure. Are you, are you absolutely positive? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Captain Crash can get away with my petty crimes, so can I just bop him and just take it? I mean, sure. no. but no, let's do this the right way. I'm sorry. Yeah. Pirates. Yeah, yeah. Pirates. You could bop him if you want. Uh, I will take insight checks from all three of you, though. No, okay. I'm not going to bop him. 13. This is gonna end. 13? Yeah. 23. 21. 21. All three of you notice that this guy is a little bit on the weaselly side. That's why I'm, I'm confident that his curse will not affect me. But you're pretty sure he's telling the truth, uh, and he's wavering at giving you the item and having you deliver it. So he's trying to protect us, genuinely. It would seem so. So threatening him is not the great thing, okay. As far okay. as you can tell, he seems to believe that this curse is real, and is concerned that it may go against you. However, so the he is open to the fact of getting rid of this item and the problem that it is entails. Uh, how, 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 what's his fortitude look like? What's his constitution look like? Do you have, you know, have you, uh... He's average. He's average looking. Take a hit? Yeah, he might be able to take two hits. Okay. Well, all right. I'm pretty big, though. Okay, then, then I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and trust his uh, natural instincts to... Uh... He goes, I'll, I'll agree with his reservations. That we'll, we'll carry him instead. He says, uh, what I need to tell you is this item is sought after by a group called the Cobra Kai. I'm sure you've heard of them. Oh, yeah. You're associated. Just, just yeah. So uh, these guys really want this item. And I think that they would even consider uh, severe beating to the point of unconsciousness or worse. So I need 
protection, and I am willing to pay for it in a dramatic fashion. I, I, I produce I produce an amulet, and I hand it to him. Just just a simple simple chain, and I hand it to him. I say, "Here, wear this." What is it? So I like bling. It's an amulet of protection. God, I like I like jewelry. Though. It's 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 absolutely nothing. I'm just doing it convincingly. I want a deception check. I, I'm, I'm afraid. <laughs> Yeah, that's a 19. I, 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 uh, 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 I, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm afraid religion is what got me into this mess, so I would I would prefer to not touch any religious trinkets anymore. If you It's know. not religious. It came from you, sister. Ah. And why do you smell? I, <laughs> why do I, I smell because I have olfactory senses inside of my nose that send signals to my brain, whereby they are interpreted to be... Uh, he turns to blah, the guy, blah, blah, blah. Sure about these guys. I, I'm not getting a good feeling off these guys. And I'm gonna grab him by his. I'm gonna grab him by his shirt and shake him with an emphasis. You will let us do this in this godforsaken town. I need money to get the fuck out of here. We shall pass. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and hit him, uh, Captain Karash. It's AC eleven. AC eleven. I got eleven. You grab him and hoist him up. Uh, we'll do a grapple check. So D twenty plus your strength. Oh, that's really good. I got a six. Uh, well, it's better. I, I got a nine, so. <laughs> so you do manage to lift him up and begin to shake him. Uh, so your shakedown effects, go ahead and do intimidation roll for me. <clears throat> I'm proficient, and that was Cox. All right, 16 plus uh, uh, intimidation plus five, so 21. Fine, I'll play, fine. I'll play, I'll play good cop. <laughs> okay. Hey, 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 let him down. He, he's, he's clearly a little shaken. Ha, ha, ha. I, make a joke. I can make jokes too. Yes. Uh, you want to let us know when you make one? <laughs> I always do. You know, I'll, everyone is going to be followed by the word joke now. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's, set him down. We're here to help. We're here to help. That's a joke, and right? I, <laughs> kind of menacingly, kind of, kind of we're here to help. Okay. One good shake, and then put him down. Captain Karash sets him down. He straightens himself up. And he goes, okay, you guys passed the test. I'll hire you. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. Goes, Let's go. The job pays 400 gold pieces each. All right. Let's get this. Anytime I get touched, you lose 50 gold pieces off the, off the fee. Oh, I'll touch you. All right. You know, let's, let's... Uh, uh, we can't get him hurt. It's too vague. I, I, that's too vague. I, I'm, I'm going to produce my uh, my my four letter uh, contracts for all jobs that I uh, partake. <laughs> of. I, I, I go ahead. I fill, I fill out the details. Just just a couple little little spots here. You know, uh, is, is your, your buddy a notary? Yes. I am, and I have a forgery kit. <laughs> I got this. Okay, sign, sign here, 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 and here. Investigation check. Yeah, let's do that. Fifteen. He's got a bar over on the far wall. A bar? Yeah. Uh, well, then I just slowly walk over there while this <laughs> action's occurring and uh, grab myself a drink. Uh shithead he looks it over and he's like i'm afraid this party of the first part versus the party of the second part i think is out of place i think we need to go ahead and list the aforementioned 50 gold piece loss for every time i get hit paragraph two line six I, that, that, well that was the verbiage that i was looking for is i, I I'm, I'm like I, I don't want to i'm not taking a penalty every time something someone or something touches you because you can touch whatever you want no 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 anybody who hits me Okay, you said any anyone touches you. Right. Yeah, nobody touches uh -huh. me. Nobody touches me. She just touched you. She just touched you. Well, that's 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 water under the bridge. You guys were unaware of that. No, I, I wanted to say hit. Where are the hookers? Actually, They're good actually, quality. Actually, the classic D, the classic D D haggling. Everyone checks into. Actually, I. We will be going to a brothel to finish this transaction. Um, I will agree right. in principle to the line of hit with the
the subtext of me getting <coughs> hurt. Yeah, we, yeah, just so long as we have an understanding. That we have an understanding in principle. Zane, roll me D20. Let's see how his liquor tastes. 18. Oh, this is the good shit. Well, I pocket a few bottles of it then. Very good. Uh, I should, D- should be distracting it up. Oh, yeah, he's, he's deeply engrossed in this. D4, Zane. Two. Uh, you managed to get two bottles uh, tucked away in your clothing. Uh, cool. His his associate says, "Okay, well, looks like I've done my part." Um, Tony Guacamole says, uh, "You will get your finder's fee uh, upon completion of this job." He goes over to a small trunk, keeps an eye on you guys, reaches in, rummages through the trunk, gets something. Puts the lock back on the trunk, stuffs it down his pants. He goes, "Okay, let's go." That does not. Was able to get a look in the trunk at all? He's, he's just kind of. Okay. Making himself Fair enough. thick. Fair enough. I know where to kick. I know exactly where to kick. So, uh, he says, "We are going to the brothel of the Seven Veils." Oh. <laughs> All right, let's do this. If I still got my bag. Now I'm not familiar with where this is at. You so, but... will not be familiar. Uh, Zane, go ahead and give me an insight roll, seventeen or better. <sighs> Captain Karash, fifteen or better. Eleven. Neither one of you have heard of this place. It sounds intriguing, but uh, you don't know where it is, so you will be at the mercy of Tony Guacamole. As you guys walk down the stairs to the street level, he is going to be leading. I, uh, but before we leave, before we leave, mm-hmm. I want him to explain, to, in, in case we were to split up or be separated in some way, I want I want to directions. To the brothel? Yeah. That's fair. He gives mm-hmm. you directions to the brothel. I have no idea where that is, though. It's about a good 12 blocks away. So uh, it's kind of over by the religious section uh from before along the river walk um but you'll you'll be able to find it no problem he says there's a sign out front not a big deal uh we need to get there i need to meet my uh contact uh you guys keep an eye out for the cobra kai and uh i want you to form a circle around me so that i am protected and you can protect your assets so that you don't lose any money um, I think I want to be to like the right or left of me. I want to be in the rear. Zane, I'll walk in front. <laughs> no way. So, uh, Captain Karash, left or right of him? Uh, uh I just kind of. Well, I guess I'll. I mean, because I just kind of want to, you know, be a meet like a shield, you know, on his side of him. So, okay, so you know, I could just zigzag back and forth like a Cylon's <laughs> eye. I'm just, I'm just looking out. I mean, I'll, I'll walk around. I mean, I want to make sure since um, uh, Prudence is behind him, he's got someone on his flank, and uh, I, magic dudes up front. So I just kind of want to just like, you know, stay on the side of him and just kind of walk around and, you know. Plus, plus, not, not, not too obvious. Yeah, not too obvious. You know, not really obvious at all. Just like, I, I'm a tourist. Kind of, I'm trying to, you know, I'm with them, but not. Oh, this is Captain. You know. As you guys go walking down the street, Zane, you feel a tap on your shoulder. And we need to go. We need to go right. Uh, the whole time while we're proceeding, I'm not walking backwards, but I'm intently trying to pay attention to the sounds behind me. Sure, not a problem at all. Uh, the streets are filled today. Uh, the thunderstorm is pending, and it's just going to get ugly. Good news is, if it does rain, the streets are going to clear out, and uh, it should be much easier. Right now, the streets are just chock full of people, and everybody's kind of eyeballing you because Captain Karash, noted pirate, is kind of zigzagging back and forth. I'm looking at stuff. Get, I'm trying to steal things, too. Window, window yeah. shopping. Yeah, so I'm window shopping. So, uh, Zane, you go right uh, about two blocks away. Uh you hear, oh my god, 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 it's Cobra Kai. Oh, 
I'm gonna go right to his right, and when I hear stuff, I'm gonna be on. And I'm going to I'm walking clo- confidently. I'm, I'm going to try and close. I'm like I'm not with these people. He is looking dead ahead and just comes to a screeching halt as Zane continues forward. So Dude. whatever it is, it is ahead of you. I'm on his right. I will take. Uh, and I'm, I'm closing that distance that I was keeping. I will take investigation by all three of you to see if you can determine which of these individuals looks to be likely. Nine, nine, two, 20. 18. 14. Uh, we'll start with Captain Karash. Captain Karash, you find uh, ahead of you a pair of triplets. Ooh. A three, a natural 20, and a 14. You will Pretty. focus in on the natural 20 beauty whose cleavage, buxom cleavage, is pouring out of her leather corset and gives a nice little wave to you. Uh, well, hello, dear. Shithead, you are closing the gap, and you notice that the three sisters seem to be cl- coming right towards Zane. Zane is looking left and right and does not notice the sisters closely approaching despite the presumptive cleavage. I will take I'm initiative here. from everybody. Huh? Funny. Four plus three. So I have a 23. I have 11. 12 and an 11. All, everybody beats uh, the sisters, Belinda, Melinda, and Linda. Uh, Hello. Zane, you notice at the very last minute these three are closing in on you. Natural 20 goes to Prudence. Uh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? I'm going to I'm going to whip one to try and get avoid this collision. So Devo away. Uh, with one, two, or three. Yep, I'm just trying to pull that up. I just know that I have the whip. Okay. Uh, I forgot that I wasn't proficient with that. Um. So it's going to be a 13. Uh, not good enough. So uh, I, I, I pull a nice Indiana Jones and make the distracting sound that I was totally trying to do. Very, yeah. very nice. Uh, Zane, you're up. You notice the whip come over your shoulder but fail to hit. You notice that the uh, beautiful faces on these individuals change dramatically and scowls cross their faces as they pull forth scimitars. You're up, Zane. Who do you want to go after? Oh. Hotty, uh, naughty, or Miss Average? Yeah, I'm going to magic missile the really ugly one. <laughs> Thank <Fair> you. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be three darts. It's going to be three plus two, five plus... Four, nine, twelve damage with the magic missile against the ugly. Her name is Linda. <laughs> uh, the Captain ugly. Karash, fortunately for you, uh, the hottie has not been touched. Uh, the average has not been touched. I'm, there's just so many implications for the fact that she's about to be unconscious. <laughs> I'm not that kind of pirate. <laughs> You're I like up. them to be conscious so when I'm accosting them. You're, you're up, Captain Karash. All right, I'm going to pull out my great axe, and who's right in front of me? Whoever's in front of me is who I'm going to hit. Uh, Zane. Uh, oh, uh, Zane would be uh, also uh, the gorgeous 20 is just on the other side of him. Um, oh, no. So she's right by them. I'm going to, because... He, because the sorcerer's threatened, I'm going to go ahead and go for her because I don't want the sorcerer to die. Eh, um, I'm ambivalent. <laughs> oh, well, oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to adopt the murder hobo side. Fuck him. I'm going to hit the ugly one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Poor Linda. Nobody likes her. Um, Linda's the ugly one, right? Keep the hot one conscious, apparently. Linda is the ugly one. All right, good. Mm-hmm. 18? 18 does connect. Okay. And so 
Uh, I forgot about these damn dice. All right, eight. And I'm going to hit again. I was going to say, that's not enough to... It's enough to seriously injure her. I... Okay. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to hit her again, so I'll roll again. Hit her again, Johnny! All right, 18 been, again. Been dying to say that. Uh, that hits her, and it kills her. Oh, okay. Ah. Linda, Bam! Linda is... That's what you get for being <laughs> ugly. <laughs> Nice. Uh, Melinda is the hot one. Belinda is the average one. Uh, odd, Belinda goes after your benefactor. Even goes after Zane. Melinda, the hot one, is going to go after Zane. So, uh, See? I should be at his side now. Uh, you will be, but that's okay. uh, that's. You were going to Linda on this side. Well, it's a, it was, I, I was whipping. I had breach. Well, you could have also hit him. So I'm, I'm trying to be fair. Uh, their first attack is normal. Their second attack is a disadvantage. So did I say Belinda's going after? Oh, I have to roll. So for Belinda, yeah, even after me. is your benefactor. Four. Uh, Zane, they're about to hand you your ass. So... Uh, Belinda, average, uh, 14 plus two, 14 plus 4, 18. Reaction, I'm going to shield. Okay. Uh, the other one is an 18 and a 12, so 16. Uh, no. Okay. Both of those are going to mess me since I shielded. Melinda, uh, 16. They, they, that shield will stay up for the whole, the right, whole yeah, round. entire round. So no, well, so, I have AC so twenty one right now. All, all people that attack you, correct? Yeah, for this round. Yeah, so for the entire round, I have plus five to my AC, so I have AC twenty one at the moment. Got you. Uh, double nickel. So back to the top of the order. Uh, prudence. Uh, not being distracted by the uh, clavagier, I am going to go up and poke the attractive one in the forehead and that is a 17 to hit 17 does hit she is going to suffer 21 necrotic damage as i inflict wounds upon her scalp sorry, <laughs> sorry captain karash she ain't no 20 no more uh zane you are up uh yeah, I'm gonna fireball. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, uh what? Which one? Uh the hot one. Okay. Well, not so hot anymore. That was a yeah. twenty-four to hit. That hits. She's dead. All right. <laughs> I dead. You'll do more than three hit points. Uh, I do four fire damage. <laughs> you okay. Almost checked it out. Uh, Captain Karash, only the average-looking one is left. Belinda. All right, I'm just going to take my axe around and hit her. Uh, both of these individuals will be in range if you flub it badly enough. All right. Even the benefactor? Even the benefactor. How'd you That's do, your Christy? <laughs> Three. Three. Uh, one to two, Zane. Five to six, uh, Prudence, three to four is the benefactor. Deuce, Zane, you feel a wafting over the back of your head, and you lose about 30 hairs as her blade gives you a choppy look to your hairstyle. It looks better this way, but trust me, you're going to get lots of pussy. That was a dictionary. That was, that was Belinda laughs and is going to square off with you three. Uh, this time, three to four is going to be Christy because you guys have formed a wall. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Captain Karash. So, those are shit rolls, and the natural 20 is on the disadvantage, but the 14. So, does an 18 hit you, Captain Karash? 18 does, but did you miss? Because uh, I can use a, a, a reaction. 
um, repost. I missed on my main attack on my secondary disadvantage attack. I had 20 and 14. So the first one misses. The first one. So misses. I can use my superiority. I'll spend the superiority dice to uh, as a reaction to attack. Gotcha. Okay. But now she still hits you, right? Right. It'll she depend on if she survives. Right. Oh, um, she I got it. Hit yet, so she'll survive. Um, I have a 16 armor class. Uh, yeah, 18. Mm -hmm. Four damage. Okay. I'm good. Shake it off. Did you attack, though? Yeah, all right. Let me attack. Uh, 16. 17 to hit. No dice. Uh, no, no, wait. I didn't add my um, my bonus. Uh, it's uh, plus two, is so that makes that an 18. Gotcha. That hits. Okay. All right. Um, I should be more prepared. Yeah, all right, that was, a, that was a... That was a... That was a one, but because I'm a great weapons, I can reroll that. I have to take the next one, so that's five damage. Okay, fair enough. Top of the order, mm -hmm. sister. Oh, it was so effective. I wanna, I wanna poke this. I wanna poke this one too. Right. You know, what? Uh, I'm gonna give you a minus two to hit because Christy and Zane are kind of in your way. Not disadvantage, but just minus two to hit. Don't worry about hitting me. I'm okay. I, 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 is there any way I can maneuver myself so that that's not a fact? Uh, you can move. Don't worry about it. Like I, I was going to say, like I, I would. I, the captain, I feel like, if I were to brusquely try and shoulder him aside to get a better, uh, better are, shot. You aren't moving, Captain Courage. You can knock no, Zane yeah. over with a feather, I think, but you ain't moving, Captain. Well, my intention isn't to is to get their attention enough to uh, uh, there's an understanding here hey get the fuck out of my way yeah uh, oh i would comply there? Oh. <laughs> oh there is oh <laughs> uh, I, I will still give you minus two okay, okay. Yeah. uh because she's not gonna I, last long 13 plus six is 19 minus two is 17. still hits mm -hmm. You're right. Okay. She doesn't last long. That's 22. She is down. Bam. She swirls up like a Nazi in a Indiana. <laughs> yeah, her face melts. I melted her face. Uh, insight. All three of you. We killed three innocent people. Four. And Four. I want to lose. Uh, uh, insight. Uh, 16. 22. So four, 16, and 22. As Zane begins to loot the bodies, uh, take six gold each. Zane, uh, Captain Karash, and uh, Perpetua, you notice uh, the crowd uh, is a little pissed that you three ruffians uh, messed with these obvious nice ladies, and they start yelling for the guards. Can I investigate the bodies for like a tattoo, like an insignia, showing that hey, we're members of the evil association of Cobra Kai? Like you know, so now you're going to strip them. You've killed the women. Essentially, you're yes. going to strip them. A wise, yes. a wise choice. Can uh, I see Perpetua doing this? I will assist. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> chicks touching chicks is hot. Uh, Tony, yeah. Gu Tony Guacamole's like. We need to get the fuck out of here. What are you guys doing? These guys are Cobra Kai members. They're going to be crawling out of the woodwork for me. We got to go. I collect tattoos. And he starts to run down the street. So you guys can investigate the shit. But he's I, I want to trip him. I want to trip him before. If I get the sense that he's about to run, I want to trip him. I will take details from everybody. If you beat me, you will be within range to do something. Well, I kind of. Yeah, well, there's no sense in that. I want to try and stop him so he doesn't run off. You're gonna have to chase him down. Uh, he was, you're gonna have to go past her because he was behind us. Yeah, he would. Oh, he, Can I just? He's been maneuvering the whole time. So when you guys went this way, he's he's trying to keep you guys in between. So it's this way. So he's gonna have a a step lead on you. So I have prudence. Uh, stripping bodies, looking for tattoos. Zane gleefully uh, ripping them off, and I'm trying to stop. I don't know what we're looking for, but I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I am investigating 
everywhere. I'm leaving no stone unturned. Uh, yeah. and Karash, I rolled a 12. What did you roll? I rolled a 4. You are going to be three steps behind me. All right. And I All right, plunge I'm... headlong into the crowd. Uh, no, is there something I can do? Jeez. Uh, mm -hmm. Shithead and Zane, how long are you going to lewdly check the bodies? Uh, the, the, only, the only one that I haven't mangled is the ugly one, so that's the one I'm going to focus on. How long until I can basically check everywhere but up inside her pussy? <laughs> Jeez. Uh... Yeah. I, fuck, I, you know what? I, you, you know, uh, uh, young DS, yeah. you never plan for this shit to happen. Uh, five, so one, two, three, four. Uh, groin area tattoo KC. Ooh. That's Cobra, hot. Cobra Kai. Uh, I wish yeah. she was you know, alive. It's not a tattoo, it's a brand. Fuck it, they're branded. Yay. I will expose I, that and point it out to the crowd. Make sure that the guards see that. Let us away. Yeah. That's a, Look, I have disrobed this young female. That's what you're going to do? This bloody <laughs> young female that you guys beat the shit out of. I'm still, I'm still leaving the brand exposed. I'm also taking note of it in case I need to replicate it. Mm, very good. Yeah, I'll, I'll even take an etching. I'll pull out a piece of paper. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Captain Karash, give me an investigation check to make sure that you maintain eye contact on your... Uh, that you're not distracted by the dead ones, too. Factor. <laughs> A 12. Uh, you still have eyes on Tony Guacamole. Uh, the crowd is restricting your movement as well as his. Uh, now they spend the people. Give me an insight check, uh, Cap. Oh, uh, let's see, 19, uh, 21. You are shoving people out of the way in order to catch up to your benefactor when you look up to the left and you see shutters open and a crossbow come out. The oh, fuck? Uh, <laughs> Shithead and Zane, you guys uh, have... Oh, uh-huh, uh uh-huh. The crowd is turning hey. ugly. Uh, I, yeah, I, I'm not sticking around beyond that. I don't, I don't care what their opinions are after that. I just wanted to make sure that I, I acted without thinking, for, and that was a mistake on my part. I wanted to make sure that I had the right person. And I'm going to make sure I make some noise and say, look alive, fellas, and point up to the thing oh, so that they can see. You're a good 10, 12 feet ahead of them. So you're I still say it. I'm not, I'm not that bright. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm av above average and orc intelligence, but, you know. I have, I have a passive perception of 19. I would probably hear. I don't know. The crowd's pretty angry, and they're setting in on you. Plus, you know, you're stripping a woman naked in the middle of the street during daylight. So As I'm... though that word, it's not daylight, it's overcast. Yeah, and, uh, it's, and, you act, and you act as though that's not something I've done a million times already. <laughs> that's, that is true. Uh, you hear the muffled yell of your associate. Um, give me an investigation check, Zane and Shithead. That's cool. Uh, 15 plus 6, 21. 18. Both of you hear Captain Karash scream, I don't know, left, Look alive. left, and I'm you, you see Funk as a crossbow bolt goes headed down into the crowd. Will I hit Tony Guacamole? Or will Frank kill more innocent victims? I am blaming um, Looks like an innocent victim has been struck. <laughs> I will go great. one to two adult male, three to four adult female. Kill a kid. Kill a kid. Kill a, kid. kill a child. Kill a child. That's a four. A female with a charisma of four. A lot of uglies in uh, Cathaway. Uh, hey, 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 why, 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 why are you trying to just turn turn women into sex objects? Either they're hot or they're not. You don't know. Maybe she had a great personality, Frank. Yeah, I don't want to start her personality. Charisma, charisma, not think like age or anything like that. Yeah, I, this is not sheer looks. This is the overall charisma. This is the past. She had, this is the, she had bad breath. So she was a forager. She was a terrible woman. But why did you have to kill her? Well, she's not dead. Uh, Captain Karash, she slumps over you. 
puts her hand to her forehead. Oh no, save me, brave one. Uh, I drop her immediately, and then yeah, as, yeah, as her cross eyes begin to close, <laughs> I drop her immediately, and I try to surround uh, what's his face because I, you know, he's got that can't get hit claw. Don't forget your bag. Oh, oh yeah, and then I put the bag over her face. I said, "You lived a good life, woman." <laughs> and then I drop her on the crossbow bolt and puncture it through her body. Even you drop her on her front and you cause her no further damage. You're I'm gonna try. And, I'm gonna try. Okay. Uh, what do I roll? Well, if you want to try and gently put her down, that's gonna cost you another step. Uh, all right. Let me. What am I rolling? I just odd or even. Uh, odd or even. Oh, okay. Odd. 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 <laughs> it was. Odd. <laughs> she howls in pain as the crossbow bolt shoots through the other side of her shoulder. But you managed to gain a step on Tony Guacamole, who's like, ah, 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 ah. And I'm going to tell him, get near me, man. See, they're on fire at you. Come on. Zane, Christy, and Shithead. Insight check. I, yeah, and I'm going to be checking uh, uh, 20, 24. Thirteen. Thirteen. All three of uh, you hear the creak of shutters opening on the right side. Out comes another crossbow. How bolt. close? How close? How close? Uh, Can I... Even with uh, Captain Karash and Tony Guacamole. Okay. Can I fire I'll, a firebolt I'll... up at that crossbow? Beat me in an and, 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 and I want to instruct her to, because she's grabbed him, I want to instruct her to turn him away from that. No, no, I'm trying to shield him. I'm trying to shield yeah, him. Yeah, that's what I mean. I want I want you to put your grab him, face him the other way, and put yeah, your back on that. So all three, yeah, that's what I'm all three of you give me a, an initiative roll for this mess. 13. Modified 20. 18. 16. All three of you beat me, so the modified 20 goes first. I'm shooting my firebolt at that crossbow, and that was a 15. Did I hit? You hit the crossbow. Cool. Okay. And that is seven fire damage. Fair enough. Uh, next. Shithead. Okay. Uh, I guess I, I do. Do I see her head turn to notice it as well? I guess before I waste my turn trying to tell her what to do. She, no, I I've already noticed it. I did. You noticed at the same time. Okay. okay. Then I. This initiative is bang, bang, bang. So I'm gonna let all three of you describe what you're doing, and then I will tell you what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to shout 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 out just to make sure she's aware then. But I'm going to also need a deck save from the from the hands of the of this person. You cannot see the hands. Does that matter? I can see the crossbow. Right. That's all I need to see. Okay. I, I would assume I'm sacred flaming it. Seventeen. Uh, that'll save. So no, that does nothing. Okay, Captain Karash. I want to um I want to move this man out of the way and uh, possibly um. Uh, dodge or get out of take out of hit. get him i'm gonna take the hit yeah i'm gonna turn i'm gonna take the hit and try and shield him and get you know push him and you know barricade him right, careful where you're pushing you don't want to push him into anything because then he's getting hit yes no i want to make sure that he's he, i'm I, he understands that he's in danger and i'm covering him he also saw it and he's screeching like a child the good news is zane hit the mark and has struck it hard enough to shift its aim, meaning another child dies. A child. <laughs> a child is struck with a crossbow bolt, non-fatal at this time, screams, and its little puppy begins to yelp uh, in a protective manner. Uh, I'm going to take out a heavy crossbow and try and hit him back if I can get him out of the way. Uh, new round. Uh, you can... Okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, actually, right. uh, it started with non-natural 20, Zane. Oh, yeah. What is reloading time in this? Is that an action? Yeah. yeah. Action. Okay. That's all. I want I want to be able to... I got I, My action in the first round was moving him out of way and shielding, and then Correct. this round... The crossbow, was... crossbow would be considered probably locked and loaded. Zane won the initiative, though. Okay. Cool. So there's no enemy left, right? Because he, he, he's, he's still there. Him. The crossbow's just not loaded. Oh. 
And is this coming out of the brothel where we're seeing this? This is, this is shutters up like a like we're, we're on we're on shop level, and all the shops have like their houses yeah. upstairs. All right, yeah. Yeah. blocks out of twelve. Mm. Yeah. Oh shit! So we're not even close. Nope. No. Um, maybe we should just keep moving to where we're supposed to be going. But I think more shutters are going to open up. Yeah, that's yeah. Let's just keep. Sure, surely there's not. Sure, surely there's not someone in every every house. There isn't everyone in every house, and please stop calling me Shirley. That's <laughs> a joke. <laughs> See, that's, when you identify them like that, that's how we know. <laughs> All right, yeah. anyway, I'm throwing another fireball up at this crossbow. The one on the left or the one on the right? What, there's two crossbows now? The, 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 the one on the left has had the chance to, to reload now. That was the first one that went off. Oh, shit, yeah. I want to go towards the loaded one then. Okay. Uh, give, me yep. a, give me an investigation to see if you can get a clean shot at him. Okay. You know that there was somebody on the left. You aren't quite sure which shutter. Uh, I just got a 19. Oh, yeah. You, you spot it. All right. So I spot it. Mm -hmm. All right. Throw a fire bolt. That's a nat 20. Ooh. You know I'm going to say you shatter the shutter. How much damage? <laughs> the reroll was a nat I one. He shatters the crossbow. <laughs> uh, I am going to say that you shatter the shutters. Uh, it fractures into the crossbow, it breaks the bowstring, and it also peppers their face. Blake says, cool. okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you hear a howling scream, uh, from the second floor on the left. Next up, uh, Shithead. Uh, I'm going to continue to try to, uh, close distance, I suppose, while... Uh, sacred flaming the the uh, right again. Okay, the street has turned into a cornucopia of people just milling about. So it. it's yeah, what the gonna, fuck is wrong I'm with these people? Oh, they're still. getting shot at. <laughs> so okay, give your uh, sacred flame a shot. Uh, go ahead and dex. Dex fifteen. Seven. So not even close. Uh, it's just D eight right now. Uh, that's going to be eight. Radiant. Nice hit. Uh, Captain Karash. Uh, totally I would... guacamole screaming like a madman. The dog is barking. The child is screaming. Uh, the ugly lady is uh, yowling for help, screaming, medic, 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 save me, save me before am I, the child. Do, am, I gonna pass her? am I going to pass her? Uh, you will just now be arriving. Remember, Captain Karash and Tony Guacamole had three-step lead on you. Still, I'll at least spare, I'll, 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 movement. I'm gonna at least want to spare the dying if she passes out, but I'm not gonna waste it. I'm not gonna burn a fucking healing spell. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah, yeah. Captain Karash, you are up. Uh, you have heard the blast from your high left indicating that Zane has possibly significantly injured the foe there. Uh, you know that the crossbow reload time on the right has not expired yet, so they are either in the process of that or doing something else. And that's the one that I hit. Correct. Yeah. Oh, that should have. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming my sacred flame would be visible. So I can see the sacred flame going in there. Don't I get advantage if I if I hit him or something? Or I'm not remembering that spell. At the, at the distance, I don't know. Uh, I'll see. Yeah. I'll see. Oh, no, no, you're, you're thinking of guiding bolt. You're thinking of guiding yeah. bolt. Yeah. I think so. Guiding bolt. All right. What so. You do, Captain? I'm going to hit the one on the right where I've seen the sacred flame going because I see, I'm, a, I'm assuming the outside of the left one is all burnt and crazy and oh, he's probably yeah, screwed. Yeah. Uh, Zane did a marvelous job of destroying that. There's going to be some serious renovation and uh, the folks from HGTV are going to have to take over. <laughs> Ooh, so, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and try for that one and make sure that Tony Guacamole is behind me and tell him to shut the fuck up. You dying, shut the fuck up, child. You know. He is screaming like Private Ryan in the last scene. <laughs> Your NPCs have no survival instincts. No, no. Cool, cool. Be fucking Fonzie. Be fucking Fonzie. I'm gonna try and tell him to shut the fuck up, and um, I'm gonna hit the guy on the right. No, I'm not. <laughs> How bad? 
uh, three again. But but this is the crossbow, right? Yes. I mean, three. I got three naturally. I didn't even add my proficiency or anything. So three. You, you managed to miss so bad that you hit the business sign below it, the little shingle that hangs from the side of the building. The good news is you have hit the target in right on target. <laughs> As your crossbow bolt, ting. You're just to me, Tony Guacamole. Shut the fuck up. Ah, ah. You hear six Semper Tyrannus as an individual jumps out of the thing at the right and flings a dagger trying to hit Tony Guacamole. <laughs> this half orc ugly son of a bitch. Okay. Um, how, is, how is that? Who's death to tyrants? <laughs> He's a sale. He's, a, he's an independent salesman. Uh, 16 With the cursed plus item. 420. Tony Guacamole takes one. Ooh, there's a message for you guys, and that's minus 50. Uh, now I'm going to have to. Now I'm going to have to try and get him to think that he didn't get hit. <laughs> New round. Or, top of the order, Zane. Right there. I could. Good uh, news uh. is that uh, Tony Guacamole screeching has gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's no more enemies nearby. We can keep going, right? Oh no! Well, no, this one, just, this one just daggered him. Yeah, there's one. I thought that one died. I thought that was his like dying action. No. Yeah. Well, now, now wait a minute. Here. Wait a minute. I'm all in front of him. Can't I take? Couldn't I have eaten that? You know the d twelve you know. against me. Well, okay. No, because you were uh, aiming your crossbow, and that takes two hands. Uh, so uh, yeah. No, we but, but she did say. But she did say making sure he was behind her. Yeah, yeah behind you. Against me. 11. 12. Ha! <laughs> okay, you take the hit. All right. Well, how much points was that? Six. All right, I said... Ah! Tony Guacamole is... Oh, so you're doing... Uh, said Tony <laughs> no, I just, has not been I'm hit. groaning. I'm groaning. <laughs> Tony G. Uh, top of the order. Zane, uh, you have an assailant who has just leaped out of the second floor, flung a dagger... Uh, Captain Karash is oh, taking the hit, uh, dropping her, his crossbow in the process. Uh, uh. And, but uh, Tony G, Captain Karash, and the assailant are all within melee range. You are up. Um. Round three, so both Zane and uh, Prudence will be in melee range. Uh, cool. I'm going to throw fire at this assailant. Okay. Now, uh, shithead, if you need to stop to spare the dying, that'll be your, your action. Except for the fact that I also have bonus action that I'm going to use, so that's fine. That's fine. Zane, what'd you do? Uh, I rolled a 13. Does that hit? Uh, I think that actually does hit, because these are lessers. Uh, yeah, AC 11. Oh, wait, Holy wait, shit. I, I'm looking at the wrong one. Well, that's good. Oh, seven AC fire damage. AC 13. Okay, well, I rolled a 13, and that's seven fire damage. For those of you who have seen Mars Attacks, uh, Zane has just pulled a Michael J. Fox, and the only thing left is one hand of the assailant. Uh, the rest oh. of his body... That was back before Sarah Jessica Parker looked like a horse. Correct. <laughs> I, I really like Jack Black in that movie too. <laughs> yes, Jack Black was in it. Uh, there was everybody. everybody there was a lot of people. I love Jack Nicholson. Oh, go go watch that movie. Put us on pause. Go watch that movie. Come back. He two roles, didn't he? Wasn't he did. He was, he was the he was the president and the hotel owner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was a good movie. Uh, you guys, uh, as you look up to the left, you see a slumped body. Uh, mm -hmm hanging out of the broken shuttered window it appears as though two more members of the alleged cobra kai are down okay. does there seem to be any more activity anywhere uh you have a lady that uh captain Karaj threw roughly down onto the ground and punctured the bolt right through her you have a small child screaming and a dog barking uh, because the child's been hit that dog looks like it's in need of a new home i'm going to adopt it <laughs> You're so you're going to steal the child's uh, pet. Good call. That's a that's an excellent call. Oh, we need to keep moving. Uh, yes. We need to get out of here. I, I, I will uh, spare the dying. I will, rules this street. Uh, I will, you, will spare the dying. As you hear guard whistles and everything else. Uh, 
you spare the dying, lean over the lady or the kid? I'll, I, I have to go. I have to pass by both of them, essentially, don't I? Yes. If I, 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 my, my, my. If it, it, I can't justify not doing it since that wouldn't have happened if we hadn't have been here. Um, so I have to roll. That's fair. Uh, D twelve against me. Uh, you, you know what? You roll a twenty. I'll roll a twelve. If I beat you, uh, they're gonna die before you can spare the dying. The it doesn't matter. Spare the, spare the dying just stabilizes them. Mm -hmm. if, if they're still screaming, they're not unconscious yet. It's I'm not. I can't heal. Them. They are still screaming then. Okay. Yeah. And I got an eighteen. I'll, I'll tell you what. So eighteen for the first one. I'm not yeah. gonna beat that. Okay. For the second one. Uh, twelve. Nine. So okay. Uh, both are still screaming. So you don't do not need to spare the dying. Tony Guacamole's screaming, get me the fuck. Well, well, well no, spare, spare the dying stabilizes them. So they're not going to bleed out and die, effectively. That's fine. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. It, 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 it's, it's all just color bullshit. That doesn't matter in one shot. Let's right. go. Uh, yeah. Tony Guacamole's, get me off this fucking street right now. Shut the fuck up. And then I'm just going to grab him and kind of push him as I'm pushing people. Do you hurt oh. him? <laughs> no. No, I'm... I'm I'll stick him up and fucking. Throw no, him. no, I'm just grabbing him by his coat or whatever. Just like you know, nothing to hurt him. Just uh, like I, I assume he has an overcoat on. Yeah, something you know, like a shirt or something. Not the you know, just this so he knows. Judd Nelson, for God's sake. <laughs> I don't know what the man's wearing, but I'm just trying to get him to come I, with I'm, me. I'm assuming okay, he's so all of his compatriot was. His, his yeah. intention is he wants off this street. Do you want to continue to follow the path, or do you want to shoot down an alley? Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm going to look to Prudence. Like this is our first. This is our first time in the city. I can't. I. I. I, uh, I wasn't paying to, to direct. You. Uh, oh man. I. Oh. Uh, Where do we go? Uh, yeah, uh, we, we we have to keep going, but we'll we'll de we'll detour at the next at the next thoroughfare. All right, let's go. And then I'm just gonna pull him in the direction that Prudence is telling me. Yeah, let's go. Let's I'm go. Like, you charge that's probably the most... covering over him like uh, he's the president and making. I run in front. You're making. I'm, I'm, st I'm still I'm still waiting. To, I'm still I'm I'm not too far behind, but I'm still listening for something behind me coming up. So, I'm acting like Secret Service and the president kind of thing. So like, Zane, yeah. the sorcerer, is going to be your meat shield slash fullback. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and the AC-20 cleric is bringing up the rear. <laughs> That's fair enough. Uh, okay, here's how we're going to do this. Uh, Zane, people are running in all directions. I am going to say that there are four people headed straight for you because they don't know what the fuck's going on and they're just plain <clears> stupid. <throat> Uh, you and I are going to roll off on D20s, straight rolls, uh, to see if they shoulder into you. It's not going to cause any damage, but it may trip you, uh, and you'll get a dexterity roll. Well, so, if I see that they're coming at me, can I just throw fire in their direction? The uh, Yes. Disperse? <laughs> well, it's... Okay, did you ever take the field when you were at Purdue? No. Okay. Have you ever been in a riot? No. Okay. I have. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bronx is burning. Have you been in a concert with a lot of people? Yes. Okay. That's the kind of base yeah, you're looking here. at. So there are a lot of people coming at you, but only four of them may hit you. So are you going to blast fire directly in front of you? Oh god! I mean, not directly where it obscures my just view. Like, just like any good concert, we got the pyrotechnics. Don't don't use the brown acid. Uh, mm. I, I, you're you're gonna have to go ahead and explain. There are gonna be four people that are gonna be in your path, not not intentionally trying to block you, just as a matter of oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, so, I'll blast them out of the way. Okay. So, oh. So the first one. Uh, first, let's roll off. You're going to blast them, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's roll off. A one. 22. Okay. They would have moved, but you go ahead and blast them. So how much damage do you do? <laughs> Eight fire damage. He's dead. 
Oh, uh, that's cool. Number two, Nat 20. 12. Are you going to blast them? Yes. Okay. Damage? Oh, damage? Yep. 10. Oh, yeah. Charred. Third one, are you going to blast? Yes. Okay. Roll it. Thirteen. Eight. Uh, they they would have hit you, so blast them. For damage? Yep. That one only four fire. They're still alive. Oh, but they got the message. They know to get out of the way, right? Oh. <laughs> message. And, Good. Uh, last but not least, are you going to blast this person? Yeah. Okay. That's an eight. And that's a 10. They would have dodged you. How much damage did you do? Seven. They're dead as well. Yeah. So you've left one living witness. Uh, Captain Karash, you've managed to uh, bear hugged half Nelson, whatever the hell you're doing with the president. And you're rushing uh, Tony Guacamole through the streets. Uh, everybody in sight. Do you smell barbecue? Yeah. Yep. I yeah. shot back. I'm like, Tony, I'm doing this for you, buddy. <laughs> and I keep charging ahead. 11. 18. Insight, Zane. Oh. Matt, 20. All Ooh. three of you see two windows open up on the left. As a, as a bonus action, I'm sanctuarying him. Okay. Yeah. Can you do that while you're moving? Yeah. Okay. So, so you see two shutters open up. Cool. Second I one. blast one. <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't even care if it's just someone dumping their chamber pot. I'm blasting them. <laughs> okay, go ahead and blast them. <laughs> that was a two. Yeah. So I just... Blast on the side of that building. <laughs> you you shatter the sign to the what were you using? Fireball. Uh, <laughs> you shatter the sign to the fire elemental tavern just as a chamber pot empties off into the crowd <laughs> from the first window. You should be dumping your shit out on people anyway. In the middle of the day, come on, be civilized. Consider that a warning. Shithead, I believe you're up next. God, people have no uh, respect. Uh, if I don't, do, do I see anything out of the other window? I will take perception check. <laughs> yes, boo, look in first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 25. <laughs> you notice a pair of young lovers, uh, partially clad, looking out to see what all the hubbub is about. And then Sacred flame. Yells, <laughs> you fire 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 and you're making out. Sacred, sacred flame. You're, you're your trying fire. to make out while people are dying? What the hell's wrong with you? You fuckers are so going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> not today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was prepared for it. Sailor, Sailor Jerry. <laughs> yeah, yes. Uh, ball kicker. You're going to jail. I get petty crimes, petty crimes. I can get away with. That was just minor assault. Thank you. Uh, I think lost teeth is assault and battery. Right, right here. See here. I will argue with their not going. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, to catch no, me. no, no. I'm I'm not sacred flaming the. You uh, You're gonna have to catch me outside. How about that, Captain, <laughs> Captain Karash? Uh, what are you gonna do? Oh man. So uh, we're just gonna keep moving. I'm gonna keep uh, moving him forward. He didn't. He's uh. I tried to get out of here. So you come to the middle of the intersection. The, the sanctuary will last for a minute. Okay. Yeah, I want to keep moving. You, you come to a separation where there are alleys on both left and right, and you notice just a mass of humanity running this way. It's almost like the running of the bulls at Pamplona. Okay. It's people, and they seem to be running from something or towards you. Okay, so which is uh, where am I? Which alley is closest to me, left or right? Because I'm going to jump down the to the alley. The street, you can choose either one. But... Choose wisely. 
Ooh, I want to sit down and do a 10 minute augury. <laughs> I dive into the left alley. Left? Okay. All right. So I'm falling Zane because I don't know no better. Left? Yes, left as well. Shithead. Basic, basically, you're going to drag me in there as well. You can. No, no, no I, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to reluctantly follow suit because I'm like, I just want to sit down and do it. Gas on yourself and light yourself on fire. Uh, you dive down the uh, left intersection. Uh, and think just numbers and letters are the same thing. And and get halfway down, and you notice a shadow step out in front at the other end of the alley. There's only room enough for two human beings to charge down this alley. Uh, and this shadowy figure fills the entire gap. So this is a large... I immediately, I immediately pull him behind me. So he's behind me with the and, sanctuary. And, 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 I, and I will still have been bringing up the rear so now he's between us. I yes. throw fire. Well, first we'll all roll initiative. Okay. But how, but how long has this, is this immediate? Is this within that minute? Uh, it's at the end of the minute. Okay. So, so it'll still have a sanctuary. Uh, 17 initiative. 14. 13. Uh, uh, Shithead and I tie. So uh, would you like to go first or would you like me to go first? I'm going, I'm going to hold my action. Fair enough. Um, the individual raises his hand and says, Ho there. Uh, I don't like this fucker already. I was going to say. Captain Karash. His name's Ned Flanders. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am going to ready an attack, uh, but I'm going to have him behind me so i'm ready um in case this fucker does something i'm going to you know um i'm gonna have my axe i'm gonna pull out my axe but have it ready and i'm just gonna basically defend my man and i know that prudence is behind me so yeah and it might my, my held my held action is going to be to cast a spell uh if he becomes hostile yeah i'm i'm holding it as if i want to make it known that i'm i'm in a guard attack like a guard. Zane, you have no idea what's going on behind you. Uh, all you see is this enormous figure filling the alleyway. What would you like to do? Throw fire. Yeah. <laughs> Throw fire it is. Yeah, buddy. And that was a uh, 17 to hit? 17 hits. It's that three kids in a trench coat. Six fire damage. Can, can we Could we buy some alcoholic beverages? How much damage? Six fire damage. Oh boy, that's not gonna be good. Uh, I do you continue to run towards it? <clears throat> well, yeah, we're trying to get to this brothel as quickly as we can. And now it's three flaming kids in a trench coat blocking your way. <laughs> <laughs> you notice an individual with a guard insignia on his armor <laughs> that you have oh. just set on fire. Great. I did not see that before I threw the fire. Ca Captain Karash, you hear Tony Guacamole groan loudly at the issue. Uh, new round. Uh, uh, Blake, I, I assume you know I'm going to kick the shit out of Zane. Right? No, 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 no. He's going to give me a wisdom save. Remember, we tied. So He's I, going. I was holding an action. So I was yeah, holding. I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just said ho. Well, you okay, well, so I was, new round, he, yeah. if I would have talked to him too if I was able to do that. I believe the phrase is woulda, coulda, shoulda. Well, you can either I'm saying you can either hold or talk. Yeah, we'll we'll go round two. He's on fire. Okay. Uh, well, that's fine. Well, because go ahead. here's the thing. Whatever you're going to do, he's going to be pissed. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yeah, okay. He's going to be dead. It's a little mild fire. Who's that? 18. 18? Yep. To hit? No, that's 18 for his that's save. His oh. So I am going to take my two attacks on. Yeah, you are. Zane. I'm going to shield. 
I got double threes. Oh. So I oh. take my blade and right along the wall uh, because I misjudged the distance horribly. Uh, Captain Karash, you are up. You see, um, you now see the guardsman uh, on partial fire uh, attempt to whack Zane in the head. You hear Tony Guacamole groan loudly. What would you like to do? I'm going to hit the guard. Um, Why not? <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> Fuck this guy. We've got to go. Um, 18 plus <laughs> two. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, this guard's AC is 11. Oh, okay. Uh, nobody. Yeah, seven, got a lot sla- of hit points. seven slashing damage, and then I'm going to um, use a bonus action to heal myself. Fair enough. Zane, you're up. Uh, this guy uh, did not like getting burnt. Uh, he's taking a swing at you. Missed horribly. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm going to throw more fire at him. And that is a 14 to hit. That hits. And that is eight fire damage. Chopping him down. Uh, new round. Uh, I, I'm going to grab Tony Guacamole, who is now in between me and the captain. And I'm going to, uh, we're, we're taking the other alley. So you're going to okay. run back down the alley? Yeah. Do I see this or hear this? I don't know. Do you? I, I mean, you're behind me, you so. Or... No, I'm not yeah. saying anything. You, you, I'm you don't hear shit then, Cap. Split the party. Uh, in my action. I was, I was going to say, does he, does he, does Tony say anything? Tony's mm-hmm. groaning because he knows. At, 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 his, at, his, at, at the surprise of me up, coming up behind him. Uh, he'll, he'll do the uh, perfunctory yoinks and <laughs> as you drag him down the uh, alley. Uh Zane and Captain Karash, you see the guard reach over, grab his whistle, and send out the notice. Captain Karash, you're up. Oh, what? Well, you know what? He's calling for help. You would have you would have heard me leave if he's vocalizing something to him. Assuming. Okay, so uh. In melee. Yeah, let's. Um, I'm gonna hit him. Okay. And uh, I get to re-roll that. <laughs> <laughs> 18. Okay, hit. Okay. Um, I, don't know. I, got, I keep grabbing the wrong one. Uh, let's see. I, get I hate it when I grab the wrong thing. All right, uh, 12. And then I'm going to go ahead and, uh, yes, 12 damage. And I, I'm going to go ahead and, Burn an action surge to hit him again. Okay. Nothing like hitting me. And that is, and and nineteen. Yep. All right, and then hit him again, and that's a ten point of flashing damage. I'm sorry, how much? Ten. Okay. Uh, and then Zane, you're up. Uh, all right. Yeah, throw more fire at him. Lunk is never going to be your friend. 21 to hit, yep. and only three fire damage this time. Baby Ruth? Exactly. He's more or less ogre-ish. Uh, new round. Um, I, I continue my uh, advance to the other alley. Okay, give me an um, insight. Insight uh, 22. You notice that that wall of humans uh, headed towards you before you hung the loop Dipped. has reached the alley. Mm-hmm. So, okay, but how how far how far am I from exiting it? You are looking, and they are there. You're about uh, 10, 15 feet away. So I'm not going to be able to get through this turn, or I'm going to get plowed down if I try to. But. They're looking this way. You're coming this way. Right. They're not seeing me. So yeah, it's, I'm, I'm going to t I'm going to t bone him if I do. Uh, is there a a, a back door uh, for any of the establishments on either side of me? There we go. Uh, give yeah. me an investigation. Uh, seventeen. <clears throat> yes, there is one. On the right, 
behind you. Uh, you overlooked it running past it because of the debris. So you trying the door. Ten I'm feet trying back. the door. Okay. Now keep in mind, right will put you the wrong direction. You will. I don't. Want, I don't want to be in this alley. Okay. Uh, so you turn around, spy the door, and head that way. Yeah, that's the only door. Do you yell out to these two? I, I, uh, I'm not going to be quiet about closing it. That's not a good answer, but okay. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going, I'm to, yell, I'm not going to yell my location to the town guards. Right. So, I'm perceptive enough, so if I hear a door closing, I. I well, unless he cracks you in the skull, Zane's odd. Uh, Christie's even. Four. Uh, Captain Karash is going to go after you. Great. Five. Not even. Let's close. go. Oh, okay. I'm going to use a. I'm going to burn another superiority dice uh, to use a, 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 a. Because he missed to use an attack. 16. Oh, yeah. Plus two. 18. All right. Town guards got better AC than. Or got worse AC than Belinda. All right. Uh, 11 points. Of slashing damage. He's uh, he's ogreish. So he doesn't need a lot of covering. Uh, it's taken forever to chop him down. I don't know why, but I keep, I keep thinking it was Belinda Carlisle. Yeah. <laughs> you you got the beat. Uh, was that <laughs> an action surge or your action, Christy? That was a that was a reaction to him missing me. Okay, it's up. a repost. Day. All right, so it's my turn to actually hit him. All right, uh, sixteen. Uh, sixteen hits again. Okay. And that's uh, three points of uh, slashing damage. Okay. And I'm going to use a bonus action to hit him again. Uh, that is a 16 again. Mm -hmm. All right. And I get the reroll one on a damage. So <laughs> that's 11 points. And <laughs> that's 11 points. He so. banged out pretty bad. Zane. Woo! Throw a fire on that was so close to being a nat one. All right. No, I, I got a 13 to hit. Yep. And that is five fire damage. His face burns up, and he falls <laughs> odd backwards, even forwards. Uh, five. He falls backwards into that street where you yeah. hear more whistles. A peek around, Zane, will show guards headed this way. Uh, Captain, you hear a door slam behind you. Spin around. Give me a insight check to see if you can tell where it came from. I bet it came from the door. <laughs> well, remember, from this direction, there's a pile of debris. Otherwise, okay. you would have spotted it first. 14. Uh, somewhere around a pile of debris, you heard a door slam. And you also notice that Tony Guacamole and your associate are gone all right so i would just go i would assume because you know i'm gonna fall I'm fighting, that in the, I'm fighting in the detritus okay i don't you know i'm assuming that they're gone in that door so are and besides gonna... besides i don't want to stick around for the cops so uh yeah because you've surpassed the minor uh crime and yeah i think these are mm -hmm. new orleans uh guards uh <laughs> so prudence are you going to continue to tear through this uh back end of this building or wait depends on what i'm in uh you are in a pawn shop Oh, then I, I, I'm, I'm, I would be quite confident that this uh, Tony, being being a uh, independent businessman, uh, he, he's familiar with the owner. I'm going to assume that our presence here isn't necessarily going to be welcome, but not completely. If we're spotted, he can probably smooth talk it out of here. So yeah, I'm going to barrel through the through the built through the building. Uh, Captain and Zane, uh, you know of a door slamming somewhere in the alley. You know that your associates are missing. What would you like? Oh, and you know that you've killed a guardsman. What would you like? To <laughs> I know I want to get. I want to get the hell out of here. I want to go in. The, I'm going to go into the door because I know that the cops are going to be in here anytime soon. So I want to get out of here. I don't know where the people went, but I just see a door, and I heard the door close. So, you know, he's not stupid. So he would just go that way. Zane, what are you doing? 
Yeah, I'm going to be following uh, the captain, wherever the captain goes, I guess. Okay, you two roll investigation as you barrel down the alley. If you succeed, you'll spot the door before you go too far past it. Eight. Uh, it's, it's a 16. Uh, captain throws out his arm as Zane tries to run past it, grabs a hold of him, and you both go into the back door. As you enter the door, you are surprised by a wooden horse head. That looks uh, like the woman we killed. <laughs> I was going for the Hocus so mean Pocus Sarah Jessica vibe. Parker. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I did go for the Hocus Pocus vibe, so, you know. Yes. Oh, uh, man. Is there a Sarah Jessica person? Parker. Yes. <laughs> that woman. She's going <laughs> to haunt my dreams. So, she's, uh, she's, as, she's... as Zane and the captain... Uh, see some kind of wooden merry-go-round-esque horse. Uh, just over that, you see the familiar personage of the uh, cleric, robed cleric, and your benefactor Tony Guacamole. As they are, 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 are we are we in the are we in the knight's pawn? <clears throat> no, you're in the rook's pawn. Nice try. <laughs> is there <laughs> anything? Is there anything I can uh, that's heavy enough I can move to put in front of the door? Yeah, the horse. All right, I'm going to move the horse in okay. front of the door. Cool beans. Uh, the tail is kind of curved, so if you back it up, you can put the tail underneath the door and create a wedge. I'll do that. Okay. I'll uh, do it. Zane, Captain, uh, Shithead, and Tony Guacamole are all in the pawn shop. All hell is breaking loose outside, uh, and then it begins to rain. Okay. I want to. I went to shop. Okay. Yes. Tony Guacamole looks at you and goes, "What in the fuck are you doing? We gotta go, man. We gotta go. We can't go with all this hubbub going on, and it's I'm, raining. I'm not gonna make any money. You're not gonna make any money. We gotta go. But I my have, I, I, I have two thousand and change gold because Prudence has been on a lot of shit, so she wants to shop. <laughs> Fine, shop away. I'm like, if they want to, I'll, 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 catch up, I'll catch up if they decide they want to take you to go kill more guards. Oh, Tony Guacamole's going out the front door. Oh, no, Tony. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. I'm still holding. Whole person. Whole person, somebody. Something stupid. I, I, yeah, I, I haven't released him. I, I'm, I'm holding him by the collar now. Okay. 17 on no. the grapple check. I, well, I was doing that when I pulled him in here. Yeah, so I, I but he was, he was going but, willingly. Now he wants to leave willingly. So now he wants to. Now he wants to condemn. Okay, yeah. that's hey, gonna be. He tells you, if I don't make any money, I rolled roll, 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 roll a net. I rolled a net twenty. Okay, I, you know, he's struggling. I don't get paid. You don't get paid. I, I don't. I, yeah, I rolled a net twenty. Listen, listen. You want to go out in all this fracas while the guards are. I clearly killed a man and clearly killed a woman. In the, uh, Hear that? Yeah, he killed a man. No, I, I, yeah. I saved him. Insight. I'm insight, a dangerous insight. person. I wasn't there, but yeah. All, all three of you insight. I clearly killed a man. Natural 20. 19. 19. Uh, <laughs> the captain who proudly announces of his uh, killing prowess. Then I am really good. The proprietor standing there slack jawed that a murderer is in its midst and runs out the front door screaming help. Wait, so the shop's unattended is oh, what yes, you're saying? Yes, yes. So no need to yes, shop. It's unattended. Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> now that we got that, don't we? Wait, someone went to look an item around. Someone went to the front door. I, I was going to say, everybody inside again. Yes. 16. Uh, 16. Net one. Uh, oh. As Prudence decides to check on the wares, uh, the captain and Zane hear the back door getting uh, bashed in. Uh, Great. And screaming and yelling. We got to go. Damn. Um, Shop unattended. Shop unattended. Get uh, first, what, whatever is in fucking reach with my other hand is going in my bag. I want to grab. I want to grab everything too. I'm just like, oh, this kid is a minister. I, I like. I'm not taking it. I'm not taking a search action. I'm not taking. I'm just whatever's like, like, 
like shield through the glass case. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's a free for all. Zane, what are you doing? Um, I'm lighting the back of the shop on fire where they're kind of busting. <laughs> That is awesome. Uh, the shop owner's pleas have not fallen upon deaf ears, and several guards headed that way at the whistling have appeared at the front door. Uh, lady and gentlemen, you're surrounded. <laughs> well, but I meant that like on my on my way out. I, I, I meant that. I like, cast invisibility on myself. Like, like that was my. I was using my movement. I am invisible. <laughs> Don't mind me. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to him? I, who gives a fuck? <laughs> As the guards are coming, I'm like pulling things like this. So... <laughs> Don't forget to brag about how many people you killed. Oh, you're yeah. going to kill more yeah. people. Uh, I've got to kill more people. Uh, yeah. Let's go final thoughts in reverse order. So, Ernest, uh, what'd you think? Oh, I thought it was fantastic. I love the mad dash to try and get to this brothel, and we only make it two out of the, like, 12 blocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we still only made it two blocks. <laughs> uh, Blake, what'd you think? Prudence doesn't travel with pirates anymore. <laughs> Christy, what'd you think? I do this on a daily basis. It's always <laughs> random and chaos. And it's always a quest for horse. And oh, I, oh. I I never get a horse. Hand you another, I hand you another bag. Thank you. <laughs> I have yet to get a whore. I always get in these stupid fights. The things get set on fire. Oh, yes. And I kill a lot more women for some reason. And a guard. I really I really like I really like women too. That's the thing. It's fucked up. Uh, folks, uh, I, I, I know three unconscious ones in the alleyway. That, uh, <laughs> I don't you know, like I kill them three random people in the streets. You can wake them up. Uh, and maybe yeah. folks, thank you for joining us for uh, uh, kind of an impromptu uh, episode of. Uh, <laughs> Whatever the fuck this was. Murder Hobo. That one's already naked. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube channel if you want to buy our crap. Uh, take a look at it. I, I think it's, I don't know, 10, 50, 20, 90% off. I don't know what it is. It changes on a regular basis. Uh, this Tuesday, we will not be doing Between the Rolls. Uh, our cast is trying to figure out if we can do something special for you for Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. We want to be Santa. Uh, so... Ho, ho, ho. That's what we were looking for, Frank. Come on, Jesus. Yeah. That's what she was looking for. Uh, the rest of you were looking to kill The me, whole apparently. time. Uh, we, uh, we appreciate... Uh, I certainly appreciate our cast for uh, sitting in on this one. Uh, we are sorry that I... I am sorry that I botched the audio to begin with. But like I said, at least you got to hear me. So that's the yeah. important part, I think. So maybe you didn't even get to hear me. I'm not sure. Uh, but again... Thank you very much. Uh, Tuesday, we'll go ahead and do uh, some kind of rerun. So, you know, and then next Saturday, we will go ahead and do another one shot. If you're interested in sitting in on this with these uh, amazing players, please let us know. We will get you squeezed in there. Uh, they are a whole lot of fun to play with. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo. I, I love playing with myself. <laughs> uh, let's, do, let's do the wave, and I'll try not to botch the ending. So... Bye. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yes, I can still hear you. I can still hear you.